another gormless character like Bazaar, but one who was strangely irresistible to the opposite sex. I say it's a very nice seat through I'm getting. I didn't think anyone would notice. I've been wearing it for days and nobody said a thing. And that's a very nice pair of breasts you're wearing, too. Oh, do you like them? I should say I do very well, uh, mold. Thank you. Right, follow that. Hi. The approachable young lady was Abigail, Australia's first sex symbol. She shot to fame in a nightly television serial, number 96, about the goings-on in a far-from-typical suburban block of flats. Mr. Whittaker has come to play. When Shakespeare was... Born, he was writing his plays. People queued up for Shakespeare because they wanted Shakespeare. Today they're queuing up for 96. So, in my opinion, 96 is today's Shakespeare. Uh, just moved in around the Yeah, that cloud just stopped the street. Nice. Right. Remind us you in a bit more of you, don't it? You can under Through the residents of number 96, Australians got to meet a cross section of their own society nymphomaniac virgins, lesbian witches. Nicker snippers, pantyhose murderers, and even, and this was revolutionary, sympathetic homosexual characters. I'm homosexual. Are you a man? Hmm? No, 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 no. Of course, I used to love Don and Dudley. They were my favourites in number 96. Don and Dudley were a delightful couple, but what sickened me then and sickens me even more now is the epithet that they have attached to those two lads. They call them gays.